so today's topic is about attracting opportunities and benefiting from opportunities and this is one topic which is very close to my heart because uh, this was a very weak point for me you know in life so many pe people desire that i want this kind of a life sabke man mein hota hai at some point of time maybe early in life or later in life or in mid life multiple times this desire comes that i want to have a big life grand life i want this in life that in life and that desire came in my life also but i used to feel so blocked in my life that <clears throat> how to do what to do i am so behind others are so ahead if i have to reach where they are today it will take me so many years to reach how do i start my journey of life in which field in which area and that cloudiness becomes so much that stress anxiety all the things become so much in life that you are not able to sometimes manage it and then you start procrastinating you start becoming lazy you start becoming doubtful so many things happen in my life also it used to happen i used to look at big people big legends big superstars people who were earning in crores i used to look at them and say yaar meri journey to start bhi nahi hui my journey has not started i don't even know where to start it from and they are there how lucky they are can i ever reach there then that doubt used to come in my mind that maybe they got it from their parents maybe they would have uh, found a good uh, life partner they would have helped them those kind of thoughts used to come and then i realized in my life that by thinking in this thought pattern it will not help me even if for 10 20 30 years of my life i keep on running my mind in this way i will not get anywhere so i found a different blueprint to think to create opportunities and to take benefit of those opportunities and today i would like to discuss those things with you plus we will be doing a impactful tapping at the end of the session theek hai all of you are clear of the context theek hai opportunities now with that thought in your mind let's open the worksheet that i have created for you the mind map see life runs in two ways for us if you want you can make notes also of this this will be very important for you life runs in two ways for us first way is that whatever is coming your way whatever choices you have made in your life already jaisa chal raha hai how it is happening you let it be like that second way is that you want to change that thing in your life you want to design it differently you want different results so first of all one needs to be very clear in which way you want your life to run example deta hu bahut practical example hai and in today's time it's a very genuine example in today's time maybe 20 years back or maybe in my father's generation mother's generation this example wouldn't have been genuine but today it's a genuine example for today's generation people who are attending right now for us for example at the age of 15 around 15 theek hai we have to select whether we will take which stream we will take whether we will take commerce whether we will take science or we will take arts or humanities right we we have to select all of you 15 16 mein we have to select after 10th exams now at that point of time suppose i selected commerce you selected science or you selected anything at the age of 15 or 16 now what happened after 2 years when we cleared our plus 2 our 12th then we have to select which stream do we want to go in like i did ca you may have done your bcom you may have done your mbbs you may have done your ba you may have done your engineering anything you would have done your bed whatever you would have done but you would have selected something at 17 18 19 then when you have done that obviously next step will be now to get a job to start something in life so one way we lived our life in the flow at that time the opportunities were also less at that time it was in a we were in a hurry because everyone was doing so we also had to do so in flow 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 we kept on doing something now fast forward 
we are 40 suppose we are 40 years old and we had chosen a field we had chosen a line but now we have hit a roadblock in our life ek bump aa gaya ek block aa gaya life mein ki guys are you able to relate with what i am saying is it relevant to you how many of you are finding it relevant what we are saying samajh pa rahe ho relate kar pa rahe ho apni life se ye bahut important cheez hai life ki maximum people that come to help especially from middle class families people they bringing their children they want to discuss yahi point hai life ka which i am bringing ki ek ek ke sath discuss na karke we can discuss it together as a group i can present it to you right now at the age of 35 40 30 50 you realize that your life is not going anywhere and even if next 20 30 years i keep on doing this thing kuch hoga nahi life mein there is nothing that i can see foresee that something great will happen something extraordinary will happen maybe monotonous life has become maybe you feel that saturation in your career has become that Okay, my maybe five ten percent. I will keep on, ha um, you know, ha having increment according to the inflation. But otherwise, nothing great will happen. Or maybe you feel ki interest you are losing in that yeah. field. Now you don't want to grow. Whatever. Now there is a choice here at forty or thirty or whatever your age is. There is a choice that whether you want to continue in the comfort zone. Of what you made a choice at 15 or 17. Or you want to design it differently. Here's a choice. Suppose. a choice to open. 50-50% chances. Hai. You can choose anything. Now suppose you say. That I want to go with the path of least resistance only. Easier path. Which I was continuing. I don't want to do anything like crazy. I don't want to put my family into jeopardy. 100 things will come in your mind. You say, hai. wonderful. The mind map ends there. Mind map ends there. The session ends there. Now you say, Ki nahi yaar, I want to design it. Maybe I'll do this only, but I want to design my life. I want to make it better. Aise nahi chalne de sakta. I cannot let it be like this only. Now the mind map opens up. The life opens up. Clear all of you? Now, how, what do you do in this case? Designing the life by choice. Listen very carefully. <clears throat> the number one rule for that. Please write down in your notes. If you want to design your life by your choice, Especially when you have no clarity in life. What to do, how to do, what to do, where to do, how much to do, how much not to do. You have no clarity. Then number one rule is you have to be in constant lookout for opportunities. This is very important. I'll give you an example. When I was doing my job, right? Our boss used to Put us in any project, whatever project used to come and uh, like management consulting project. And even if we were not well versed with that, they used to ask us once and they used to put us, assign us that, those kind of projects. And they were not small companies. Ki koi chota -moda client hoga, some five employees, 10 employees. They were fortune 1000 companies, fortune 500 kind of companies, big companies, listed companies. They used to assign now, I was first, I was always used to feel ki why they are doing it with us, why they are pushing us, why they want us to go there. And you know what happened? Later on, when my hunger came in life, when my desires came in life, I was in constant lookout. I used to feel, yeah, they are putting us in this project. Wonderful. That means I will learn this skill also. And plus this client will be in my profile and I can build a relation with this industry also. And then probably tomorrow, this beverage industry, this FMCG industry, I can become a partner in this. Something like this I can do. I understand their business model. That thought started coming in, in my mind. So when they said, do this project, maximum people used to feel, sir, my house is very far. It's very far away. Sir, I don't know this work. And I was in my mind, 
what will I win? Am I winning enough in this? And my mind used to say, yaar, ye to golden opportunity hai. How come I'm getting this opportunity? Ye to golden hai. If three months I can work on this, I can understand this, this will open this horizon for me, this horizon for me, this horizon for me. So I used to accept gracefully. And I used to make sure from day number one, I'm capitalizing. Now, tell me, I want to ask you a very deep question. Did I continue in my job for long? But that attitude was built in me at that time, which I'm able to monetize today at 100 times more. Are you able to understand? How many of you are able to understand what I'm saying? That attitude that got built in me, aaj wo useful ho And those people who were afraid of opportunities, who were afraid of things, they're still afraid. They're still troubled. That's the problem. So number one is be on a constant lookout for opportunities. One wonderful concept I'll share with you, which I love the most. It's called, I've shared earlier also, I'll share it again. It's called reticular activation system. I learned this concept in 2015 by the person I love the most in this life after my parents. Tony Robbins. Really changed my life, that guy. I don't know, but he changed my life, Tony Robbins. Wonderful concept. He said, he, it's easy he said that whatever you will think about and you want, you will start seeing that more in the world. If you want to buy a an Audi, you will start seeing Audi on the road. If you want to buy a white Audi, you will start seeing white Audi on the road. If you want to buy iPhone, you will start seeing iPhone with people. Even in metro, even in public buses, public transport, you will start seeing iPhone. If you want to, whatever your mind will go to, those things will start showcasing in your life more. It's not that they were not earlier there. They were earlier also there. But your mind deletes those things. For example, if you're going to the market and you're extremely hungry, you have not eaten lunch and it's evening time, you're extremely hungry and you're in the market. So every Chola Bhadura shop, every Paranta shop, every snack corner, every juice corner will take your attention. If you're completely full up till here, you will completely delete all the eateries, all the restaurants. If you're hungry, your mind, your smell, your senses, your ears will go to the tuck, 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 tuck of that tawa on which they are making kati rolls. Yes or no? Because you're hungry. So always be constant lookout for opportunities. Always be. Ye life ka paad bana lo. How to do that? Example. For example, you're reading newspaper. You see some ad that Tata is launching a new car. Tata Curve, Tata is launching a new car. Okay? For the first time, it's a coupe which is getting launched in India in this way. So Tata is launching a car in a big way. Now your mind should say that Tata has a good, very good hype. It's launching a car. How many cars it may sell? Tata ka share badega ya? Tata Motors ka share badega. I have 1 lakh rupees. I want to invest somewhere. Tata ka share badega ya. Sale is opening. They're launching EV also. They're launching normal version also. Tata ka share badega ya. Opportunity. You were always thinking na. Now you just see an, saw an ad in the newspaper for a car. But your mind went towards investment. How many of you are able to understand what I'm saying here? What deep cheese hai? Your mind went there. So, aise khulta life mein. So many people buy properties like this. Assets ban jate hai life mein. Bade bade assets you are able to build. Like this. Because you are on a constant lookout to build an asset. Now, some friend may mention, Aray yaar, mene to waha par ek farm house liya. Farm land liya one acre ka. I got it for 25 lakhs only. Your mind will be like, yaar, can we go tomorrow? Please yaar, meko bhi dikha yaar. Can you send me the Google location? I'll go and visit. 
बिकॉज यू आर लुकिंग एट दैट ही मैंशन एकदम ग्रीन लाइट गॉट इट सो कॉन्स्टेंट लुक आउट फॉर ऑपरचुनिटीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इफ यूल फॉलो वॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू ना लाइफ विल चेंज नेक्स्ट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑपरचुनिटी सी ऑपरचुनिटीज मे बी प्रेजेंटेड बाय द यूनिवर्स ठीक है और ऑपरचुनिटीज मे बी थॉट एंड क्रिएटेड what is the meaning of property uh, opportunity created by the presented by the universe although i feel everything is presented by the universe but sometimes it comes from unknown ways like your boss will push go to this project go to this country do this and you are totally uncomfortable with that but you see here can can this be an opportunity for me uh, you ask your question couple of times can this be an opportunity can this be a game changer for me somehow and your mind says ha yaar dar lag raha hai i'm afraid but opportunity to hai so it may be presented by the universe in which you were unwilling or it may be not presented by the universe you are sitting no one is knocking your door no one is coming to you the, in that case what you have to do you have to think you have to find and you have to take action and create that opportunity simple ya to aapko create karna padega ya it will be presented in both the scenarios what is required is action in both the scenarios action is required but sometimes it may be presented sometimes you may have to think and create now tell me one thing if they are not presented to you all of you think very clearly if they are not presented to you then we become a victim yes or no yaar mere paas to koi opportunity nahi aati mere ko to koi puchta hi nahi hai no one ask me i don't have any business partner i don't have rich in laws i don't have rich parents so we become victims no you don't become a victim follow the second one what is the second one you have to think and create kyunki victim ban bhi jaoge to kiska bhala ho jayega who will benefit from that four people will come and they will say yaar bahut bura hua tha sir very bad yaar so sad and when they'll give their back to you and you will give their back they'll laugh on you yes or no so by becoming a victim has anyone won a oscar for being a victim any olympic medal for being a victim any grammy for uh, uh, any other medal for being a victim no so if opportunity is not being presented to you victim mat ban that ends the game then and there ask yourself what can i do now and the day you ask that question your life starts changing what can i create out of this got it Now, मजा आ रहा है बिल्डअप हो रहा है एकदम है ना नाउ नेक्स्ट ऑपरचुनिटीज ब्रिंग विद दम सेल्स टू थिंग्स लिसन वेरी केयरफुली देर आर मल्टीपल पॉइंट बट दे आर बेसिकली इन टू थिंग्स टू बकेट्स दे ब्रिंग विद दम फियर दे ब्रिंग विद दम डिस्कम्फर्ट they be, uh, bring with them self doubt when an opportunity comes to you it will bring with yourself with them fear discomfort and self doubt i'll give you an example can i give a real estate example if you don't mind ek real estate ka example do maza aayega property ka example do ek theek hai uh there's a builder called prestige have you heard about that builder prestige it's a very big company listed company ha huh? it is worth almost 10 billion dollars ma market capitalization south ka group hai bahut badi company hai it has projects in mumbai it has it has projects in pune chennai bangalore to unka hub hai main hub is bangalore it has in multiple cities prestige big builder very big builder it doesn't have any presence in delhi and sia zero presence never focused it's not there 
but its ambitions are to be there in Delhi NCR, this area. Now they are coming with a 65-acre project in one of the outskirt areas of Delhi NCR. And people who have heard about prestige, who know about real estate, they have a very big hype in their mind about prestige. Because this area of Delhi NCR, in terms of builders, it's a very risky area. A lot of people stuck, got their money stuck in real estate. So number one rule for people here is that my money should not be stuck. You give me a normal quality home, but de dena, phasa mat dena. That's the number one rule that people have. Now prestige is number one in terms of timely delivery. Now they're coming for a, with a project. Think about it. They are offering people to give interest check with a very good discount. Tell me, if a broker calls you up, think about it. Or if a friend tells you, your prestige is coming with that project and we have to give a check and your budget is also there. We have to give a check, but this money will get doubled in one year because the trust is good. So people will be in great demand. What will happen? In your mind, you would want it, but a fear will come. What if this doesn't happen? Doubt will come in your mind. If it not it's just a hype, it doesn't happen. So your mind will be in fear. With opportunity, fear comes. Doubt comes. Self-doubt comes. It's natural. D discomfort comes. Yar, I'll have to buy a house. Yes, maybe I'll have to, I'll give, get 100% appreciation of my money invested in one year. Suppose I put in 30, 40 lakhs, I'll get 40 lakhs on top of it within one year. So double ho jayega. But yaar, nahi hua to, to fear aega. Now what will happen? So happened with me so many times in life. I missed the bus. I missed the bus. So many times I took the bus. So one has to understand with opportunities, I'm not talking about only real estate, in any field, in career, in stock market, in anything, when opportunity will come, fear will come. When, if you remember, um, stock market, uh, when COVID came, how many of you remember stock market, COVID? Did you see where stock market came? Where the Sensex came? I think it came around 28,000, 27,000, 26,000. Today it is 80,000 Sensex. From 26, 27, 25,000, it is 80,000. Now people them got panicked, sold everything. Few people bought it. They thought, yeah, theek hai. if we die in that time, then anyways, it will not be useful. But if we, the world survives, then definitely it is going to come up. That's a cycle of stock market. Opportunity thi, fear tha. Always remember, you should be ready with fear. That fear will be a part of the game. Doubt will be a part of a game. Got it all of you? Now, next. Opportunities bring with themselves lots of rewards and upsides also. Fear bhi hota hai. Discomfort bhi hota hai. Doubt bhi hota hai. But here only the rewards and opportunities that you are aiming for in life. Here are the opportunities and rewards. And the only thing which will stop you from getting these rewards and these upsides is your fear, discomfort and self-doubt. That's a such a bad thing in life. And such a good thing in life also for the people who can manage it. Such a good thing. For the people who understand the game of life, game of career, game of business, they understand it so well. Now, mind will continuously measure when an opportunity will come. Listen very carefully what will happen in your mind, what will happen in your evaluation system. It will continually, continuously measure between Fear, discomfort, doubt, and the rewards. Constant measurement. Ki, haan, upside to the upside. But loss can also be there. 
there's an upside i can win also but what if it's lose it loses what if it's not there but the upside is there but you are what if it doesn't happen what if i am not able to perform in that project so all the time the mind will measure between the two and guys please write down this statement the secret to wealth happiness and fulfillment in life is hidden in this measurement of life if you are able to measure and take a decision properly between this fear discomfort and doubt and the rewards and upside your life is sorted sort ho jata hai sort number 1 i am telling you if someone can just control their emotions at this point now when the measurement is happening the rewards of the universe are waiting for them how many of you understood what i am saying here are you able to relate it with your life when you look 10 years back 20 years back ha huh? are you able to relate with yourself yahi hua hai na life mein abhi tak up till now this has happened in life so my friends main thing in life is to measure is to manage your emotions between fear discomfort doubt and the upsides that you're looking at in life when next time you want to open a restaurant when next time you want to open anything in life you want to do a side hustle kuch bhi karna chahte ho in life there will be fear there will be doubt there will be limiting beliefs you will not be good enough you will not have money in your bank account every possible problem will be there but there's a reward and upside also you have to manage your mind and your life and your emotions between these two if you give in to your fear limitations whatever end game hai kuch hai nahi uske baad theek hai next again repeat the cycle entire cycle again next time again repeat the entire cycle but if in that moment you are able to manage your emotions and you take the upside route ki theek hai yaar kar lenge mehnat karenge na ho jayega i'll research about it i'll read about it i'll work towards it i'll make it my life's purpose bas nikal gaye fir when you see next time people who are superstars when you see next time people who are entrepreneurs when you see next time people who are earning crore 2 crore 5 crore 10 crore a year always remember they had fear they had all the negative emotion into maybe two or three which you have which i have everyone but they managed it that is the name of the game management of emotion and eft works wonderfully well for that how many of you would like to do eft for that to make sure that your mind is aligned with that management of emotions ready for it kare 10 minutes of eft on this yes ready wonderful all of you so wonderful satveer is saying it's risk and risk taking capacity wonderful very nice exactly capacity to for anything increases with practice ha pehle chhota risk loge life mein fir usko win karoge confidence aayega fir bada risk loge fir usko win karoge confidence aayega fir aur bada loge hai na wonderful eft came as a blessing now god bless you too afshan all right chalo let's start all of you we'll start relax all of you just sit straight we'll be doing eft and we'll start with the karate chop theek hai the topic for today's eft is understanding opportunities understanding the risk and fears associated with it and still able to take action theek hai so start tapping on the karate chop even though in my life i want to become extremely successful and happy yet these fears doubts and discomforts 
stopped me in my journey. I still completely love and accept myself. Even though I look out for opportunities in life. My mind wants to grow. My body wants to grow. My life wants to grow. But I get overwhelmed with self-doubt and negative emotions. Yet I completely love and accept myself. Even though I require bigger things in life. But this laziness, this doubt, this past memories that I have about my patterns, they stop me from embracing opportunities. I still choose to love and accept myself. Okay. Now, eyebrow point, all of you. Start tapping on the eyebrow. Very gently. I want to become something in life. And there are opportunities around the world. I know. I know it logically that there are opportunities in the world. It's not that my awareness is not there. But my mind, it is afraid of it. It has doubt in it. And that is because of my past patterns. That I was not able to capitalize properly. I build up high hopes for, for myself. But when it comes to taking action, I am not able to do it. Hence, now even when opportunities present themselves or I try to create it for myself, this fear is there in my life. These negative emotions are there in my life. These constant inner battles are there in my life. And I'm afraid of these battles. I'm afraid of these negative emotions. Hence, I give up to these negative emotions. I give up in my life. Am I happy in that moment? Am I fulfilled in that moment? No, I'm just relieved. I'm just relieved in that moment. That, that discomfort has gone from my life for some time. That fear has gone from my life in some time. But for how long? Then after some time, again my mind finds another thing. It searches for a new thing. And then again the fear comes. The doubt comes. And then again the same pattern repeats. For so long I have been living in these patterns of life. And I want to change that today. I want to build myself today. I'm ready to heal myself today. I'm ready to accept myself today. I'm ready to understand myself today. And I'm ready to forgive myself today. All of you take a deep breath. Breathe in. And release. And open your eyes gently. If they were open, uh, close. Open your eyes. Wonderful. Now, all of you come into that, into that awareness that these are patterns of our mind. These are patterns of human beings. Don't think it is my, it is me, it is no. This is general patterns. You are not wrong anywhere. All of you understanding? You are not wrong anywhere. Are you wrong? You are not wrong. You have not done any sin. I have not done any sin. It's a normal general pattern. Become aware of that. It's okay. Alright? Forgive yourself. 
but at the same time the willingness to change the pattern should be there is it okay you have done nothing wrong aapne koi galti nahi ki it's okay whatever has been happened has happened in life it's okay no problems it happened but from today onwards that change can happen all right so let's enter round number 2 round number 2 okay we'll start again from the eyebrow point let's start tapping these opportunities in my life that present themselves or that i want to create with my action with my focus with my effort in whatever way they come in whatever area they come up till now maybe i was not able to take benefit of them and i completely understand this point about myself but that's not the end of the movie that's the comma in the movie that's the point of realization in the movie that's the point in the movie when the hero the pro protagonist in the movie realizes that there's a pattern which need to change and they cry their heart out they shout they punch the pillow and they say now it needs to change and that desperation comes in them that now it will change in my life now it's the time for me to make that shift because you accept what has happened in the background that was also a part of you that learning was necessary that pain in the past was necessary that frustration that has ca carried on is necessary because it will become a fuel now in your life it will help you to become a stronger person now now you know the downside of not taking action because the downside again is falling back into the old patterns again looking at your face with a victim mindset i don't want that in my life i would never accept that again in my life so today i am ready to change myself and i am so happy that i am making that choice i am so relieved that i am making that choice and this choice no one is putting on me it's coming from my soul it's coming from my almighty it's coming from my creator this is the natural choice of my soul and i completely love and accept myself all right guys all of you relax relax wonderful take a deep breath and let it out and gently open your eyes wonderful now all of you in this moment write down two to three things that you want want to do now two to three actions that you want to take now in your life in this moment ye bahut achhi zone hai aapki this is a very if you have done tapping actually and you were involved in the session right now you are in a very spiritual zone powerful zone take benefit of this zone moments these moments change people's destinies these moments change generations these moments create great lives so utilize these moments in life even if it is for small small decisions small small actions utilize these moments likho ab kya missing tha life mein what was missing in your life and you want to change that now what are those two three things you would like to build now take a moment do that think search for the answers ye important hai ye critical hai
And now, when you have done that, we are going to move on to round number three. ठीक है? Round number three, the positive round. All right. So we'll start from the eyebrow point and do it with full feel. Do it with full resonance. Now computer learning is very easy for you. Wonderful. Awesome. Now do it with full resonance. Do it with full emotions. Because now your mind will be ready to accept the positivity more. So usko soak karo positivity. Ko, okay? So start tapping on your eyebrows. Eyebrow point. Start tapping. Starting of the eyebrow. Now I become a magnet for opportunities. There are opportunities all around me. There are opportunities all in all areas of life. And today I become the magnet for opportunities. Today I become an action taker. Today I become an executor of things, of projects, of things in life, of goals in life. I'm tired of living the life which I was living previously. Enough of it. Enough of it. It's not inspiring me anymore. It's not inspiring anyone. So I change it today. And I stand tall today. The soul inside of me stands tall today. And it wants to do more now. It's ready to take action now. Because this is what I was looking at for my entire life. For my entire life, this thought used to give me high. That someday, I will be also in this zone of action. That someday, I will be that superstar. That someday, I will be that amazing personality. Today, that someday begins for me. My someday starts now. My someday starts today. And I'm ready to accept myself. Yes, there is power inside of me. I can feel that power. Yes, there are dreams inside of me. I can feel those dreams. Now, for the life that I want to create, for the health that I want, for the relationships that I desire, for the goals that I want to smash, for the money that I want to earn, I'm ready to go after those dreams. And it's not a burden on me. It's not a headache on me. It's an opportunity for me. Presented to me by the Almighty. And today I open my door for this opportunity. I open my heart for this opportunity. And I become an opportunity magnet. And I completely love and accept myself. Wonderful. Relax. Take a deep breath. And release. Open your eyes gently. Open your eyes gently. And first of all, clap for yourself. Full-fledged workout ki aapne bahut mehnat ki hai. Aapke mind ne, aapke body ne it has really worked hard. So first of all, clap for yourself. Forgive yourself, guys. Forgive yourself. Promise. Forgive yourself. Be easy on yourself. Tough on the work. Is it okay? Easy on yourself. And tough on the work. Easy on other people. Tough on your work, on your goals. You will love it. Be tough on your work. Easy on yourself. Right? Wonderful. Wonderful. So, how many of you after today's session are going to go at least 25% stronger towards your goals? Raise your hands. Show me your hands. Huh? Two hands means 50% more. <laughs> And if you have four hands, then 100%. Otherwise, 
वंडरफुल गो टूवर्ड्स इट यार मैं बता रहा हूं इफ यूल गो टूवर्ड्स इट ना आई बी दैपीएस्ट पर्सन इन दर्ल्ड हाँ बिकॉज वन पर्सन टू पर्सन फाइव पर्सन कार्मिक पॉइंट विल कम टू मी दैट्स वॉट आई एम वर्किंग फॉर ठीक है थोड़ा सा अच्छा कर्मा मिल जाएगा तो कुछ फायदा हो जाएगा मेरी फैमिली को या मुझे That's what I want. That's what I need. So go for it with full strength. Hmm? For yourself, for your family, for the world, for me, for your God, for your parents, for your kids, for everyone out there. Right? And forgive yourself. It's okay. Everyone has made mistakes. Everyone has wasted time. Everyone has wasted money. It's okay. Now is the time to get up again. Today. Right? Wonderful. Great guys. I'll see you again. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you.